Good day, dear learners! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Gilma. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. Alright, class, let's begin! The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about Basic Concepts on Polygons What is a polygon? Polygon is a closed geometric figure bounded by segments which intersects only with their endpoints. Consider the following examples here. The following are polygons. As you can see, in these given figures, they are all closed figures bounded by segments which intersects only with their endpoints. So these are all examples of polygons. The following are not polygons. As you can see, in this given figure, they are not a closed figure bounded by segments. And they do not intersect only with their endpoints. So these four figures here are all not polygons. Consider the given polygon here class. We have here vertex A, vertex B, vertex C, vertex D, vertex E, vertex F in this given polygon. Vertex A, B, C, D, E, and F are what we call consecutive vertices. The segment joining two non-consecutive vertices is what we call a diagonal. For instance, we're going to connect vertex C to F. The segment joining vertex C and vertex F is an example of a diagonal. Segment AB, BC, CD, DE, EF, and AF are consecutive sides. While angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D, angle E, and angle F are what we call consecutive angles. Take note of that. There are two types of polygons. The first one is what we call a convex polygon. Convex polygon is a polygon whose diagonal lies exactly inside the polygon. For instance, we have here a polygon. The diagonal here lies exactly inside the polygon. All of the diagonals of this given polygon lies exactly inside the polygon. So this is what we call a convex polygon. We also have concave polygon. Concave polygon is a polygon where some diagonal lies outside the polygon. For instance, we have here a polygon. It's an irregular polygon. If we are to join the vertex from this point to that point, we also have a diagonal. This diagonal here lies outside the polygon. So therefore, this is not a convex polygon. 
it is simply a concave polygon. Take note of that. Polygons may be classified according to the number of sides they have. For instance, we have here three sides. Three sides is simply a triangle. Four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. Five sides is a pentagon. Six sides is a hexagon. Seven sides it is a heptagon. Eight sides it's an octagon. Nine sides is a nonagon. Ten sides is a decagon. Eleven sides is undecagon. Twelve sides is no decagon, while n sides we simply call it n dot. So we do name a polygons according to the number of sides. Consider the different kinds of polygon. A three-sided polygon is a triangle. A four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. Five-sided polygon is a pentagon. Six-sided polygon is a hexagon. Seven-sided polygon is a heptagon. Eight-sided polygon is an octagon. Nine-sided polygon is nonagon. Ten-sided polygon is decagon. While eleven-sided polygon is undecagon. And 12-sided polygon is dodecagon. Before we end our lecture for today, let me first discuss to you a simple passage from the Bible coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10. Don't feel because I am with you. Don't be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will surely help you. I will hold you with my righteous strong hand. Take not class. Skills are developed through constant correct practice, and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. See you in the next lesson. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe everyone and may God bless us all.